off camera that you haven't seen. He has been kind of a little jack wagon lately, so. What? Well, what are you eating? Hey guys, Dusty Becker at Cross Timbers Bison. We are super, super excited about what's happening today. We are moving all of our merchandise into the office today. It starts right here. Got mom, Kevin, Katie helping. The boss, Marissa, she's working right now, but she'll be here later, so. Hey guys, what we're doing is we are moving our merchandise from our garage to the Ponderosa. We just brought a trailer load over here. We're taking it into our office that we finished, and so we're just kind of slowly moving. Oh my goodness, look who just jumped over on me. Charlie, Charlie and Jackie. Oh, got the whole family, and Maya, Maya's over here. Um, but we're moving all that, and here's the wall that Sam and Joel uh, put up still hadn't finished it we're going to do that at some point but we're going ahead and we're getting all this in here for now and got the help of mom Kevin and Katie today and uh, Marissa uh, when she gets off work we'll be helping putting all this stuff in here so fun fun day the athlete of the group here Charlie Okay. No. Not too bad. Shopping cart. Don't run into the wall. Got Jackie. One boat. Get no that, All right, guys, we are done bringing all the merchandise into the Ponderosa office. It's not quite finished yet. Where it needs to be as far as merchandise goes, um, Marissa's got to come in here. Me, Mom, and Kevin and Katie came in here, and we got it all hauled in here. Marissa's going to come in here and kind of organize it the way she wants it. So in the meantime, we're going to go in here. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, and then, you know, very soon, once Marissa comes in here with her, her little touch, and I'm sure it'll be organized and ready to go. All right, so here we are. Yes, looks like a convoluted mess right now. Obviously a workstation here. 
with some drawers and whatnot and got all the merchandise here we've got a mini split unit in here for heat and air unit right there um i got a view right here of the bison out there somewhere i don't see him right now but kind of got a view here view there fridge nice little hangout area for brooks and all of us to hang out um and then we need to put a little tv here or something for brooks so yeah, this is it. This is where gonna. This is gonna be the central location for all the merchandise. Uh, we'll go in here, sort of hangout uh, area for us while we're working over here. So I'm so excited for uh, us to really kind of get it all organized in here and whatnot with Marissa's help. Let her put her touches on on everything, right? So, but uh, yeah, so this is what we're doing, um, and we've been doing this. We started this working on this office actually last may and yes it's taken a long time we've done pretty much everything ourselves uh with some help here and there so so wanted to show you the inside of here and just what it looks like right now i'll uh, show you later what it all eventually looks like my wife is probably mad for even showing you this right now <laughs> but um because it is it's a mess right now but um it will be organized so uh the other thing is um i've got to run to stillwater Mun pick up some cubes. We are completely out of cubes and I've got to give some to the big Joe herd and I got to give some to the yearlings and get them all taken care of. Um, they're knocking at the door wanting some cubes. So let's go run and do that real quick. We'll come back. We'll put out some cubes for the herds. Get our bag of feed. Yeah, we're back. We got lots of feed this time. I think these guys are hungry. Got the yearlings taken care of. We got them some cubes. Got them all stretched out. One thing about when you feed them cubes like this, and uh, we stretch it out like we just do, pouring it out of my truck. I know I hadn't got a feeder yet. Plan on getting a flatbed and then a feeder on this. A whole lot easier and safer. That's the plan. Probably won't be able to do it until after the new year. I've been out here a little bit with Haas here and there, just doing work, and he's getting a little feistier, and I'm going to have to be more careful around him. He's kind of getting showing a little bit more aggression kind of being more maybe of a what well, kind of the term i like to use is a turd um he's kind of being a turd a little bit um so i'm gonna have to watch it and be careful he's got that uh young you know he's coming into two years old this coming spring he'll be two so he must be feeling his oats and um, feeling a little little jasper today so um here lately i've got to kind of watch it and he's uh he jumped at me a little bit and 
and you know, a little guy like that is, um, uh, he may not be as big as powerful as Big Joe or Dunbar, but he is a, he is a uh, quick little dude and these animals are very, very strong and will surprise the heck out of you. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. Some of that is off camera that you haven't seen. Uh, just me working and putting out hay and, 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 and putting cubes out. He has been kind of a little, uh, in other words, is jack wagon lately. So gotta be careful with uh, Mr. Hoss. On to, uh, it's getting dark. It gets dark so early, so fast. Um, now we're headed over to the Big Joe herd. Doesn't look like 54 has jumped the fence yet. Uh, I've been catching her here lately. She has been jumping the fence. So, um, hooligan. Hooligan mama. But uh, we're going to go take care of the Big Joe herd real quick. Oh, well, there she is. Waiting her opportunity. I see you over there. Any cubes. Now let's calm down. Oh, look at him over there on the hill. That looks pretty. Big Joe. Get back. Get. Shoo. What in the world? Well, that doesn't look right. Big Joe, I think she's coming on to you. That's interesting. I feel a little love in the air. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but 32 is trying to jump on Big Joe. Interesting. What's going on? Hit my door. There you go, girl. Climb in here with me. Oops, they get a bunch. All right, got them taken care of. Saw some interesting behavior, needless to say. But uh, now I'm gonna go up here before it gets too dark. I'm gonna unload this feed out of the back of the truck. I got half of it for Kevin, and I got. You guys, what are you doing? Seriously, get get back. Got plenty of cubes for you. And then I'm gonna give uh, half for here at the Ponderosa for these hooligans. Well, some of them fell off, unfortunately. It's all right, we've got sacks stored up here. Crap happens sometimes, right? <sighs> yeah. So, I just got back in the barn. It is nice uh, to come in here and hang out, especially when it's cold or it's gonna be hot in the summer. Um, with the heat and air in here in this office, um, it'll be nice, especially for Brooks, um, when we're out working and whatnot and want to come in and a place to hang out. Good place uh, as a family and friends, we can hang out here at the Ponderosa. But, uh, if you guys are just now joining us or you're, uh, recently new subscribers to our channel, 
um, we started this process of building this office back in May of 2022. And basically on this barn, it's a 60 by 80 barn and, and uh, 20 by 60 of this barn was a loafing shed. And so what we did was we basically took a third of this loafing shed that we knew the bison don't need a whole lot of uh, covering and whatnot. And uh, so um, we thought we could take one portion of it. What we did was we closed it in and we converted it to an office. We've moved all of our merchandise over here now. And then, uh, you know, we're doing work in the barn as well. So there's a lot going on here at the Ponderosa. Excited about this office and what uh, we've got coming. Um, and, and it's going to be a part of this, not just the office, but at the whole barn here at the Ponderosa and what we're doing with it. So I also need to thank mom and Katie and Kevin for their help today. They made it happen today. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being a part of the process. Thank you guys for watching us today. Keep branching.